this is not the same league you entered. No. What's the biggest not. difference? Plainly and simply, we finally kind of embraced who we are. We're, we're just being authentic. For one, WNBA players are front and center on social justice. They dedicated their 2020 season to Black Lives Matter. When the owner of Atlanta's WNBA franchise, then a sitting senator, publicly rebuked the players for their stance, they responded by backing her opponent. In Bird's case, authenticity also meant going public about her relationship with soccer star Megan Rapino, now her fiance. My twin sister said, basically she was like, is Sue out? Yeah, is Sue out, because like, you're out. You're so gay, so this is not gonna <laughs> last, <laughs> last that long. <laughs> I knew what I was getting into. You did. Have you guys gotten comfortable with the term power couple? No. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm focused for both of us to become like a power broker. I think really what we're trying to do is force multiply everything that we can from soccer, everything that we can from basketball and the WNBA, and everything that came from this cultural moment. Like, how can we be a part of really bringing women's sports to where it needs to be? Where are we with TV coverage? Scheduling windows, where's our TV situation? It's, um... Lacking. Fluid. <laughs> did, did I just get a glimpse a into glimpse. how things operate? Yeah. <laughs> of us? Yeah. Yeah, probably. I think what's most frustrating is that this is not an, a puzzle that we don't know how to solve. We know what makes sports successful. Like, we have to be on TV so people can see us on TV. 